forgot to tell you about my Isle of Wight train. I'll just bring it forward to show you. Uh, these two trains were my dad's. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and um, just to let you know, the southern carriage was... Um, um, you know, you like a Hornby membership. You become a, more, a member of Hornby and you get a train. And that was one of them. Um, apparently, he had a bit of a um, nasty turn. It got dropped. So what I done, I um, took it all the way to North Fields to get repaired. Paid £12 to get repaired. This guy's brilliant at fixing trains. And uh, he made it running new. And um, the carriage had a really good clean up as well. So yeah, it's nice and running round and it runs really well. Yeah, and that's the uh, Isle of Wight train I was telling you about. Let me just turn these lights off for a minute. Yep, that's it. The Isle of Wight train I was telling you about. And I'd like to show you the other class I got, the Scottish class, all the Pullman carriages. Now I'd like to show you the Scottish one. I'll just bring that up for you. Change the points on that one. Bear with. I'd like to point out something about the Scottish class. Um, the Scottish class here is my dad. All my dad's ones were used to have been sent it down to me. Um, this is the Scottish one. This is also a Hornby collector. I'm not sure if he bought that. And I'm not sure if he actually um, got it as a collector's thing from Hornby. Like you have every shoe each week. <clears throat> and I'd like to show you something else. So I'll clean these carriages. Um, i just to show you. How I clean these carriages. A lot of people like to know how, how you clean a train um, and carriages and what's the best way of doing it. And this is my this is my version of the best way of doing it. I use standard um, cotton buds just here. Uh, bear with me. I use the Johnson's one, the cotton buds. And I also use the, tra the track cleaning liquid for the trains. But I clean the wheels first. I'll just show you how I do it on one of these carriages. As you can see. They're quite nicely buffed up, but I'll just give you an example how I do it. So I'll show you, I take one of these out and I sort of get through it, you can see it, get on the wheels and get in the groove of the wheels and just brush it, clean it like this. As you can see, some bits have got a bit of dirt on there actually. So I swish the wheel round like that as I'm cleaning it. So as I'm doing that, you can see that. And then you see a bit of dirt came off on the train. So it's pretty awesome. The more you... You should do it on every single wheel, so you do it, one cotton bud, one side of one wheel, another cotton bud, the other side, and gradually work on all the wheels, and once you've done all the wheels, um, to make sure it's really clean, just dab in a little quid a little bit, and your your wheels will be nice and clean when they're running around, and nothing this dirty stuff coming on there, and also to clean your track, it's the same sort of method, make sure the track electric's not running, and sort of get it on the track like this. And just rub it on the track. That's all you have to do is just do that on the track. All the way. But both sides, don't forget. And you should get some sort of dirt come off your track. I find it a lot easier to be honest. It's just when you do it cleaning the track like this. I find it quite easy to clean the track. It's not that dirty, but it's dirty-ish. But I always maintain my tracks. Every three to, three to four weeks, I always clean my tracks and always make sure they're clean so that no dirt comes off. So trains can run around nice and smoothly and so they don't have any uh, bumpy grooves or anything. Because your dirt, your tracks do get dirty over time with the electric going round and the power and everything. So that way, put a smooth run in. Pretty cool. I'll show you this diesel train. Um, how, how I really clean it. I give myself plenty of time to clean it. And as you can see, the wheels right here. So I'll just show you. Just put us on there. Gives one a bit of clean up there. See, it's not so bad. Look. So yeah, make sure you give them a really good clean up, and you know you get nice shiny wheels. The way I do these, this is a lot different. I put them on electric, 
on the rail, I know it's a dangerous way to do it, sort of put it not in the middle at the back, and let it run electric, so it spins round, <laughs> same that. it's best to get a test track, not the actual train set, get yourself a little test track, so buy another controller, and do that, and just, just lift it up a little bit, and just hold it underneath, and that way you're collecting all the dirt, and then all the dirt will be on here, and you have to just brush up a little bit on there, so you're not getting your main track dirty, so it's a lot easier for yourself. But adding new features to the train set, I've decided to like little skulls, I put a little lights in, so when the train is on, it's like the lights light up, and then they go off. I like to do that while the train's running, so it saves me wasting a bit of extra electric for the lights on and off. And also the bus stops, I've designed them. Uh, what I've used for the stick is like those, um, those little wooden sticks you get for the free um, coffee drinks and shops and that. I used the sticks and that, and the base, the base I actually made out of a glue gun. Painted it round, bits of cardboard cut out to make into a bus stop stand. And as you see, they're quite detailed there. My fences were a little bit larger than normal because I wanted them to do quite high. Because I wanted that. I used matchsticks and as I just painted it over, it just ain't simple. Stuck them together with glue gun because I knew glue gun, uh, uh, glue gun sticks it really quick. It's a lot easier for me. And just recently put a bit of a scenery around there, bind it in and everything. It's pretty cool. And also to get the lights into these houses to make these lights go on, as you can see, lights go on when the train goes round. Oops, a bit loose connection there. There with me. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, train, the Scottish train. I just thought I'd clip it all together and make it look good. I'll be doing a few of those. Uh, for any suggestions that you want to see a train that you see on my train set, um, you want to see running a light in a motion video, make it up, or put it together, speed tests. Um, I'm up for uh, any ideas, if anybody has any ideas for the train set as well. And also, I'm going to mention I've got the lighting system in the Woolworths already. It's, I've kept showing you Woolworths and I keep forgetting to show you the other side. I'm just going to turn that on for a second. Just gonna, that's it. I'm just going to show you the Woolworths from the other side because you keep seeing it from the side I'm actually uh, putting it in. It's the other side. You can see Woolworths just here. It's pretty good. You can actually see the inside. Let's try and get down to that. So you can see inside Woolworths. What I've done there. So you've got the Woolworths entrance. And I've also got the doors just there. I suppose to get a bit of daylight going in there, so it's a bit more brighter area. Took the lid off to make it look. So you can see the tip it, big dipping mix inside. Let's focus that in and I slide it along. And you've got the main entrance doors there as you go in. Okay, you've got a nice Woolworths logo going on there. So you can see I zoom it out and you've got the upstairs lights. Yeah, that's on the high street as you can see. So it looks pretty cool from here. So any, any ideas of 80s uh, shops, that's, I'm, I'm based on my um, train set, I'm trying to do it in the 1980s because I've got the 1980s trains, I've got the 1980s diesels I'm trying to get everything 1980s I've got a 1970s diesel under there just there, that's the 1970s, but the 1980 one's underneath there just underneath yeah but yeah, I've got a 1980s Isle of Wight bus as well. I just I've got the bus number on there on the bus stand, as you can see. But I'll just show you on this side. It's got the nice Isle of Wight bus going to Ventnor, because my train span set is based in Lothaville, which is on the Isle of Wight. But yeah, awesome stuff. Hope you like what you see today, and uh, there'll be more future videos. And I'm working on a roller coaster theme going on there. I will sort it out, I'll make it a bit better. It's just temporary, but yeah, can. Everything, Skull Electric, trains, roller coasters, you name it, it's going all in. 
Yeah, I'm working on a thing. I've got to put those trees in. Must remember to put trees in. And I'm working on a park. I forgot to show this. Uh, I've done a park. I've got the glass. Yeah. So what do you think? Let me know. Down in the comments below. Any ideas? Anything 1980 themed? As in, themed as in, like, Things that happen in events that I can just stick on the train set events and stuff as the years, as the days go by throughout the year. Until next time.